Hello, Tarponites. I think everyone's wishes and prayers came through, as certainly Hurricane Milton was no Hurricane Ian, and we're awfully glad. I wanted to spend a minute here and give thanks to the emergency response team. Here are the uh, stack captains that we had for Hurricane Milton and the job uh, that they did both before, during, and afterwards. We actually had uh, Glenn Wilson had two calls during the storm. Both of them ended up being the same thing. Someone had water leaking out of their um, ceiling fan in the great room. And we do have an issue in some units where the conduit, which leads from the ceiling fan on the marina side of Lanai, uh, if it's not sealed properly, it will actually leak into the living room. So he was able to go down and explain the issue. Short term uh, solution was a bucket, but uh, we'll get that fixed. But everyone was happy that there was a quick uh, response uh, to their needs and explanation of that. Also a shout out to our medical advisory team. While I don't think we had to use them uh, this time around, uh, they gave great comfort to the people who stayed knowing that we did have some uh, medical care available here if something did go wrong. Prior to the hurricane, I did uh, cut a few mounts out of my uh, weather app just to see how accurate these guys would be in forecasting. I got a little worried when uh, it did take a little wobble south. It was making me think of Ian. But uh, take a look at uh, these uh, weather maps and how accurate they were. The first map I cut was at 4.30 a.m. on Wednesday. You can see it's a category uh, 4, expected to increase to a 5, uh, but come in as a category 3. Cape Carl's just on the outer edge. It's expected to go into uh, Bradenton and Sarasota area. Uh, 36 hours later, 40.30 p.m. on Wednesday, uh, Cape Carl's just out of the uh, cone. Again, you can get a close-up and you can see uh, that it's coming right in just south of Sarasota. So very accurate forecasting. Let me share with you an idea that I'm trying as well as several others. So instead of using towels and the trays, uh, they make something called a pig sock. It's an absorbent sock. Uh, that uh, really absorbs water, holds a tremendous amount. I think it will work better than towels. So there it is, the pig absorbent sock. I combined that uh, with these uh, little sandbags. They're like six foot sandbags. And you put them, you can see the drip hole here in the upper left hand corner. Uh, you put it up close to that so if the rain is coming in at a strong angle, it's going to block it from coming in to the drip hole but yet it can still uh, drain out. So I think those will work great. Uh, it wasn't strong enough to test it this time, but I'm pretty confident that will work. Also in preparing your uh, condo, you want to unlock your garage by pulling uh, the cable there in your garage, lifting it up, put it on a box that'll uh, allow you to easily uh, reopen the garage door. But if you have a garage that has a window facing out or a fan, uh, the garage doors can blow out. By uh, lifting it up this much, uh, you will uh, get enough airflow in there to keep your garage door from blowing out. After spending about $34,000 of replacing our pool equipment, uh, heaters, pumps, etc., after Hurricane Ian, our board decided uh, this time they weren't going to chance it, so they pulled all the equipment out. Here you can see uh, Hector down there getting it loading on. They're taking it up to a P2 level so that it will not uh, get damaged and will save us a lot of money. Uh, great idea by the board. This is Tuesday morning around 8.45 and our staff's already got pretty much everything cleaned up uh, from the pool area in preparation for Hurricane uh, Milton. It's Wednesday about 4 o'clock. The wind is picking up pretty good. Starting to get some nice white caps out there. You can see uh, water breaking over the uh, seawall. It's 5.50 on Wednesday. 
The winds have picked up. The water's over the docks. Big white caps all the way out. Let's just hope the surge doesn't get too high. Another 550 out the back. See some pretty good waves in the lake. Across the way. Winds picked up pretty good. The morning after Milton. Got several palm limbs in the pool. Outside of that, looks pretty darn good. This is 8 a.m. on Thursday, right after the storm. You can already see our mayor, Tommy Adams, out there, along with Chip, uh, getting the palm fronds out of the pool. Uh, you can see they've already collected a good bit here. Uh, we had a team come down and join them. We've got uh, Bruce here uh, hauling stuff out. Uh, who else? We've got the Diane. Again, there's the mayor. So uh, everybody is uh, chipping in. This is 2.30 on Thursday. Clean most everything up. The pool still has a little debris. It looks pretty good. If you want to know how close that surge came to going in the pool, take a look at the leaves here on the walkway up to the pool. Over there to right here. So I would say we were probably less than one foot of water going into the pool. Races. Now let's take a look at some of the damages. Our poor silver palm here seems like every time it uh, gets to looking good something sets it back but hopefully it'll come around again. We did have one garage door P2 number 58 in building 2. Uh, looks like it uh, got blown in uh, by the air there as well. Uh, there were several units uh, that lost uh, screens. Uh, mine included was one of them. So just a couple of things for you absentee homeowners. Want to make sure that you send your home watch or your neighbor in to check your condo. There were a few that did get some water intrusion. So want to make sure uh, that wasn't uh, one of yours. As well as uh, we were out of power for 12 to 24 hours. Uh, you might uh, have bad food in your fridge or have uh, something melt from your uh, freezer. So check that out and make sure uh, you're all coming to our uh, party coming up on Sunday the uh, 27th. Hope to see you all there. Bye.